Welcome back to the CTV News. Tropical storm Erica has left a trail of in infrastructure damages estimated at $612.7 million, while 371 houses have been destroyed across the island Dominica. The Douglas Charles Airport was significantly impacted and government would require $39.5 million to restore it. Every piece of equipment at the airport has been destroyed, the Prime Minister said. Clearing landslides around the island will cost some $12 million. It is estimated that 217 houses were destroyed in Petit Savan, where the tally is 154 so far in other parts of the island. A UK military vessel with 150 men has arrived in Dominica to assist with the establishment of temporary water systems. Now, Dominicans Thursday began national days of mourning and prayer in the wake of the devastation brought on by Tropical Storm Erica a week ago. Government declared Thursday and Friday national days of mourning, while Saturday and Sunday will be national days of prayer. All flags will be flown at half-staff on all public buildings on the first two days. Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt said the aim of the four days is to honor lives lost, as well as to give, uh, to offer thanksgiving to the Almighty. The death toll stands at 35, with some 20 people still missing. And as response teams make their way to Dominica, the, the experience will be all too real for at least one member. Billy Darrow, a Dominican national, is returning to his homeland to, uh, in this distressed time to share his expertise, but also to mourn, having lost a number of relatives to the floodwaters. His visit is the first in nearly 16 years. He has been living in Montserrat, where he is the Director for Disaster Management. I'm a bit raring to go. I really want to contribute to, contribute to what is happening, see how much I can do. I have um, skills I think I can contribute, and as part of the regional mechanism, I would like to be supporting what the region is doing for Dominica at the moment. From a personal point of view, um, let me see how do I put it. It's a bit of a challenge. I'm, really worried in a way that I may have a bit of a mix, some emotions that could affect what I want to do, but I think I've sort of made peace with what has happened and ready to work. You lost a family member? Uh, more than one, actually. Um, the devastated area is an area that my, one of my parents came from, so um, my relatives were quite involved in the rescue. They also had to deal with it, and I think they are more touched than I am because they were on the ground. Mr. Darrow says he's comforted by the immediate response of the global community to Dominica. The experiences in Montserrat, and we've gone back along with Dominica as, as a sister country. So we've had experiences in Montserrat where Dominica was able to come so, and support us, and vice versa. So this is just um, continuing what we've done before, supporting each other. I don't think um, I, we should have a problem. I, I will have any problem integrating into the system. Um, I just want to see what we can do as a CDMA community and a CARICOM community for the country. Part of the national response we see my supporting would include persons who can give psychosocial support, um, organizations like the Red Cross, um, shelter management and support for persons who are to evacuate the areas. So um, I think the mechanisms are in place. It is going to be a difficult one getting everybody because you could imagine PT7, for example, is not the only village that had to be that was damage. You had persons losing family members in other areas, and you have significant infrastructural damage. So persons just looking through the window will see quite a few interesting things, if you want to call it that. Um, so it, there'll be a lot of work among the communities to support themselves, but also from professionals, um, from other organizations and outside who'd want to support them. And in fact, all sectors have been affected. So. Um, the health sector has been significantly affected. Dominica depends a lot on its agricultural sector. The tourism sector has been affected. So it's going to be a long haul for them. We think that time and the support from the other agencies and countries can bring them back. It will be some time before. Though. And since the Prime Minister's call for support for Dominica in the aftermath of Tropical Storm Erica, the Office of the Prime Minister and the National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, have been working tirelessly to coordinate donations and assistance for the battered island. To date, several individuals and organizations here in Senusha have come forward to pledge and provide assistance. 
Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony says he is particularly pleased with the significant contribution of Consolidated Foods Limited, Super J Supermarkets, and Paradise Springs. On Wednesday, the office of the Prime Minister received confirmation that the board of directors of Super J had approved $75,000 worth of groceries and household supplies in relief aid for Dominica. Paradise Springs has loaded a 40-foot container of water for shipment and distribution to badly affected areas in that country. Meantime, Barron Foods Limited, St. Lucia's leading manufacturer, has donated 20 cartoons of its products to Storm Ravage Dominica. The donation of salt, ketchup and vinegar was delivered from the company's Grenada operations to the Real Value IGA supermarket uh, for transportation to the Nature Isle, which was battered, as we know, by Tropical Storm Erica. And one more note. The Ministry of Health is preparing to extend further assistance to the neighboring isle. Senusha made available some 20 boxes of medical supplies. Now a team of medical practitioners is on standby following a request for personnel. Of midwives and persons in A&E um, accident and emergency. And right now the Ministry of Health will pull in together um, as many persons that we can get uh, the the medical uh, supervisors, officers, are trying to contact some of our officers, retired and present uh, of working, who would like to volunteer their services to the people of Dominica. So we are putting this as um, urgent as possible, as well as a request for pathologists. So this is an urgent request coming from Dominica, and we are treating this with as much urgency as it came in for us. So very soon, we're hoping that we can get a team together of health personnel to be able to transport them over to, to Dominica as quickly as possible to bring some relief to the health workers who are on the ground in Dominica. And we know, we know after a disaster like this, um, medical support is, is, is of paramount. 